Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Center Fox here, Dwarf Pictures 2 channel. And I have got some information for you here to talk about. I'm talking about what, what happened yesterday with the uh, Trump situation in Colorado. I reported a little bit about it last night, just what I knew, that uh, they kicked him off of the ballot in Colorado via the Supreme Court. Uh, it will go to the federal Supreme Court, <clears throat> but since then several things have happened including the fact that every single person I've listened to from uh, political scholars, uh, Jonathan Turley, uh, Dershowitz, Alan Dershowitz, there's several uh, political scholars that I listen to because they're really, really smart about uh, the Constitution and the law, whether they're Democrat or Republican. And they usually call balls and strikes as they are. And uh, every single person I listen to today, even the left-wing leaning pundits, said this is totally unconstitutional. Uh, Trump will win this hands down by a majority, if not by the entire uh, U.S. Supreme Court. <clears throat> and since that has happened, uh, the GOP caucus in uh, Colorado decided they were going to uh, revolt against this uh, happening in their state. And they said that they would not allow it to happen if this does go to the Supreme Court and Trump does possibly lose there. They said they will rework the, they will change the caucus rules to where they can put Trump on the ballot no matter what. Uh, that's basically what they said. I don't know exactly the full details of it. That's probably still in the works. But I believe the Supreme Court will take care of this for Trump. But this is a precedent, like I said yesterday, that absolutely needed to be handled up on immediately. I'm glad that it came to fruition already. Uh, they said in less than a month we will have a, um, a ruling on this and I think it will squash a lot of these cases against Trump uh, at least on the uh, attempting to keep him off the ballot because right now we've got way too many states that have got way too many crooked people that would just love to take Trump off the ballot because they know they're going to lose. Everybody has, is under the consensus right now that Trump is going to be the winner. Now, something that was really interesting that happened today, or a couple of things that was interesting that happened today, is, uh, first off, Vivek Ramaswamy <clears throat> uh, made a statement last night right after this happened to Trump. All right, folks, here I've got a two-minute long video clip. This is Vivek Ramaswamy basically making a declaration, standing up for Trump, standing against this Colorado Supreme Court uh, ruling. Uh, basically says that he has no interest in being on the primary ticket if Trump's not going to be on the ticket. And he is calling out the other Republicans uh, to bow out as well. That way they can prevent this from happening in the state. If they do that, if they stick together, it actually defends Trump, but it'll prevent the state of Colorado from having the power to decide who's on the ballot and who's not. How is that fair an actual real democracy when you steal the choices with some BS game uh, like the Democrats are pulling right now. <clears throat> now, Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, I love the, what he does right here. He basically puts everybody, draws a line in the sand and puts everybody in a position, all the Republican candidates in a position to have to respond to this. And uh, the truth be known, perfect move. I'm glad he stood up and spoke out, no doubt about it. I think uh, he will, he has a place in Trump's cabinet, if not vice president, uh, just because he's got the right ideas. Uh, he cares about this country more than he cares about running this country. That means a lot to me. Um, <clears throat> after this clip is over, uh, Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis weighed in. Uh, they both did say that this is horrible, uh, trying to keep Trump off the ballot. It's, it's not right. But they also had to throw a little shade on the situation. And so I'll play that for you, or I will uh, break that down for you as soon as this clip's over. And uh, it's been an interesting day, folks. As a matter of fact, it's been an interesting week. Seems like every day of the week we find out more corruption about the Biden crime family, more exposure. Or we find out uh, something involving a Trump situation. It's day in, day out, nonstop news, even when the Congress is out of session, folks. Uh, it's a crazy uh, world uh, we're living in right now, and it shows uh, when you watch mainstream media. It is crazy. Even the left-wing pundits today, uh, The Hill, Rising, and several other uh, 
left-wing pundits, much as they hate Trump, they're saying, this is not going to work. Uh, this is a ploy. I even did a short video earlier where the Hill Rising uh, broadcaster over there uh, said, this is a coup against Trump. And he talked a little trash about Trump, and then he turned right around and said, this is unconstitutional. This is a coup. This is an attempt to try to weigh the scales against Trump. It's not right. And I was just glad that a reporter actually stood up and had some cojones and was able to tell the truth for once. When mainstream media starts telling the truth, we're winning, folks. And uh, I love it. I love it. Let's go ahead and get into this video here with Vivek. Nothing but good stuff. They have just tried to bar President Trump from the Colorado ballot using an unconstitutional maneuver that is a bastardization of the 14th Amendment to our U.S. Constitution. This was a provision, Section 3, that was designed to bar Confederate members, people who switched to the Confederacy, from actually being able to serve. That's very different than what's at issue here, to say the least. This is a hollowed out husk of what the country was built on. The basic principle that we the people select our leadership, not the unelected elite class in the back of palace halls. That's old world Europe, not the United States. That's why I'm making a pledge today that I will withdraw, I pledge to withdraw from the Colorado GOP primary ballot unless and until tr Trump's name is restored. And I demand that awesome. Ron DeSantis and Chris Christie and Nikki Haley do the same thing, or else these Republicans are simply complicit in this unconstitutional attack on the way we conduct our constitutional republic. Absolutely. I refuse to be complicit in that. I think what they're doing is wrong. And I think it's up to Republicans to step up and stand up with a spine for our country's future. That's really what's at stake. Whether we the people actually have a say in deciding who leads this country. Yes, it would be easier for other Republicans like me who are running in this race to say, hey, if Trump is sidelined, there's our opportunity. No doubt other candidates are probably privately celebrating with their corporate sponsors. That's not the right thing to do. I think the most useful thing that every GOP candidate can do right now is to join me in that pledge. I'll say that I will withdraw from that Colorado GOP primary ballot until Trump's name is restored. This belongs to the people, not to the unelected Democratic cabal That's of right. judges in Colorado or any other state. And I demand that Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley and Chris Christie do the same thing, or else they're complicit in what the security state is trying to do to shut down Trump. I stand by that and I expect them to do the right thing. Impressive. I really like Vibe Ramaswamy, folks. And tell me what color you like best. I think I like the blue, uh, the black, bright blue or the dark blue. But at any rate, uh, let's go ahead and weigh in on the Nikki Haley and the uh, Ron Sanchez shade they're throwing on this whole situation. It's a joke, folks. It shows what kind of people these, these characters, shows what kind of characters these people really are. Now, I did see also that, this is funny as well, I did see also that Dan Patrick of Texas here, he's our lieutenant governor here of Texas, and Ron DeSantis both made the suggestion today that if you can kick Trump off the ballot uh, for calling him an insurrectionist with no actual evidence of conviction of, it, of such a thing, well then, why can't we kick Biden off the ballot in Texas and in Florida for letting in eight plus million people. And I think the number is probably closer to 15, but they both suggested it. And I don't think they'll go anywhere with it. I don't think this, I think this is fixing to be dead in the water uh, pretty quick as far as the results of this thing. They said two weeks to a month. We'll, ha we'll know uh, for sure. Uh, it has to be that way for timeline purposes for the primary coming up, but. Uh, it's actually a crazy situation. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it, folks. I, it's a little comical. Uh, I think this is a win for Trump. I think this is going to make more people realize that uh, the Bidens know they can't win, and so they got to scream about threat to democracy while they prevent, try to prevent somebody from actually uh, being on the ballot. Uh, most people see through that, uh, Democrat and Republican, and I hope... It does the right thing and backfires in their face like all these indictments have. This may be uh, the bump that Trump needed to uh, secure that 75% of the vote. Who really knows? Uh, Rhonda says, the census says the removal of Trump from the ballot as part of a scheme to secure his nominations urges Republicans to vote for the
he is trying to insinuate that the Biden administration and the mainstream media uh, created this whole uh, Trump, Colorado Supreme Court knocked off the ballot thing in order to push Trump to be the primary winner. Now, I, like I said, I had to read this twice and listen to it to actually absorb what he's saying. Now we know Ron DeSantis is a Democrat. Uh, he may act like a Republican for his state's, uh, for what he does for his state as far as fighting for legislation on certain things. I think he's done some good things for, for Florida. But truth be known, he's desperate. He's now lying, and he's starting to sound more and more like a Democrat. He is trying to spin doctor the crap out of the situation. I think the U.S. Supreme Court is going to reverse that. But, but here's the larger thing of what the left and the media and the Democrats are doing. They're doing all this stuff to basically solidify support in the primary for him, get him into the general, and the whole general election is going to be all this legal stuff. And, look, it's unfair. Uh, they're abusing power 100 percent. But the question is, is that going to work? Um, and I think they have a playbook that unfortunately will work, uh, and it'll give Biden or the Democrat or whoever the ability uh, to skate through this thing. That's their plan. That's what they want. What they don't want is to have somebody like me who will make the election not about all those other issues, but will make the election about the failures of Biden, the failures of the left, and how we're going to be able to turn the country. So he thinks if he becomes president, he won't have issues uh, with uh, them coming after him and him being attacked by the powers that be, uh, all the Trump legal issues will just dissolve and go away if Trump's not the winner and everything will go back to business as usual in politics. And then he'll start looking into Biden. Come on, man, as Joe would say. All right, folks, we got one more clip for you here. We're going to go to some Nikki Haley. Um, she's no better. Uh, they're both snake in the grass. Uh, uh, Nick, Nikki Haley up to her attack on President Trump during her latest interview with far-left Iowa Public Radio. Uh, Haley said "On the country won't survive under another Trump term. President Trump is the only president in her, in her lifetime who did not bring America into war. Trump destroyed the Chinese economy. He exposed North Korean tyrant. Uh, Trump brought peace to the Middle East, and he obliterated ISIS, something Barack Obama said would take generations. Nikki, uh, Nikki Haley, what the hell are you talking about? Nikki Haley really exposed herself. The sooner her campaign implodes, the better it is for America. She is nothing but a neocon, folks. And she lied, cheat, and steal to win, and doesn't mind how the elections are run, as long as it favors her in the end. I just, uh, I'm shocked as to how much stuff is coming out over the news about Trump today from every direction saying that this is going to be a win for Trump. This is going to make the Democrats look stupid. And this is going to probably cause a lot of seats in Colorado to be flipped because Trump was going to go do a rally in Colorado. I guarantee you ASAP he'll be doing a Colorado rally. Uh, maybe as soon as this ruling happens, or maybe even before. And one of the goals of that will be to try to get rid of some people in the state that push this agenda. That's all i got for you folks. Everybody have a great day. Uh, over and out.